Today is a big sanding Makani day, so we will sand the hull uh, or the keel. We will sand the keel. We will sand the old antifoul paint because we want to do one layer of or one coat of, of antifoul paint, of new antifoul paint. And yeah, before we can apply it, we have to sand the keel. Uh, also, I am still sanding the prop and working on the prop so that it's, yeah, I, I think I told you yesterday, I don't know if I put it in the video, but if not, uh, we are working on the prop and we decided not to put any antifoul on the prop any longer. And uh, yeah, so I will sand it and make it golden and shiny. <laughs> After sanding the keel and removing the blue paint above the waterline, it was finally time to apply the new anti-fouling paint. Anti-fouling is a special paint designed to protect your boat from barnacles, algae and marine organisms. It prevents growth below the waterline using biocides released by the paint. We are using a self-polishing antifoul that has never failed, caused any problems or reasons for concern. We are extremely happy with this product because it is easy to use, it looks great and it also dries super quickly. It took us about half a day to finish the job and soon it was time to remove the masking tape. So the main reason we went into the boatyard in the first place was to finish the installation of the instruments and then later to apply the anti-fouling paint, to apply a new coat of anti-fouling paint. But then um, we decided to do another project, kind of a special project or a project that we have been dreaming and thinking and planning. Uh, thinking about and planning for a long time and that is we want we always since we bought her wanted to paint Makani and change uh, the look of Makani and yeah we decided okay we still have time so we can do this now and yeah we ended up painting Makani yeah so if you remember we have um, three blue stripes on the hull one just below the tow rail um, a second one in the cove line and the third blue stripe is um, the water line and we always wanted to get rid of the blue and have a white hull for the water line we we sanded the blue color of the hull and raised the water line so we raised the anti-fouling over the, the sanded part um, so that took care of one of the three blue stripes and the, the other two, we thought maybe we can scrape them off or sand them off or use some, some chemicals to peel the color of the hull. And that didn't work. And, and also um, our gel coat 
was in a really bad condition. I I, I don't know the specific reason for for all the the tiny cracks, but as far as I was told, it's due to contracting and expanding of the gel coat in the heat. And I initially tried to, uh, I thought about polishing the, the gel coat and trying to get rid of those uh, cracks, but there, there was no way. So we made the decision to paint the hull. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically we started with an undercoat. So we ordered the paint, we started with the undercoat and it is a, what is it, a two component paint? Yes, it's two component paint, so it's the polyurethane uh, paint with the paint component and the hardener component and to prepare the gel coat for the first coat of undercoat <laughs> Coat, coat, coat. Um, <laughs> we sanded the gel coat, then we applied the undercoat and, and sanded it back almost. Oh, but before that, you also um, repaired the bigger cracks with this True. filler. Yeah. There were, were some, some, some minor damages in the gel coat, and I bought some polyester filler to repair those few spots. Nothing, nothing mm. serious. Then, then you sand it. Exactly, we sand, then sanding, then painting the, the first um, layer of undercoat. And I sanded it down um, almost to the gel coat again. And uh, the undercoat had the effect of filling all those tiny cracks. With the second undercoat. The, yeah, originally, the, we, we only wanted to do one undercoat and two top yeah. coats, but then we met Blake. Blake uh, actually bought our old wind instruments and then he came by the boat and he asked Max what he was doing and asked him, oh, you are painting the boat. Um, I have painted boats before. I can help you if you want, which was really great. So Blake, if you're watching this, thanks, man. <laughs> that was really great. Yeah. Um, and yes, so he, he basically showed us how to roll and tip, how to use the technique we ended up using. So originally we wanted to do one undercoat and two top coats, but Blake then suggested that we should do another undercoat just to make sure that none of the blue paint will show again because when Max started to, um, to sand the first undercoat that we did, the blue was already coming, yeah. was visible again a little bit. So uh, Blake suggested to do another undercoat to get rid of that problem and also to really fill up all those tiny cracks. And yeah, it's the after the second undercoat, the hull was in a really good... Um, st it was Stay a really ten. good starting point for the top coat. Again, we used the two component uh, paint from International, the Perfection line. H how, we, how we did it, uh, how we painted the boat. Kati was in the front with the roller. Uh, and we used a foam roller. Yeah, you, you need a, you need a, a, a special foam roller, one that doesn't dissolve in chemicals. Basically. Yeah, yeah <laughs> in, exactly because the, it, there are two different types of foam rollers, and the one falls apart after a minute, yes. and the other one doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and for the brush, we used like a, a brush that had the same size as the roller. And um, yeah, this is really helpful. So, so basically what, the, what the, the, the tipping does, it that it takes the little bubbles away from the paint. So when you roll the paint on, it has these little bubbles. It's this orange peel texture. Or blisters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it isn't flat and smooth the, the the brush with the tipping you just very gently um, take the brush over the paint and that yeah. flattens the paint and makes the boat really really shiny <laughs> yes it does <laughs> yeah so we did uh, <clears throat> two top coats and then we sadly ruined the second one 
So we decided then to sand it again mm -hmm. and to do one final coat and to make extra sure because the, the reason why we ruined it or why we had this one place where it wasn't perfect <laughs> um, was that we couldn't see it and we yeah. missed the spot, we missed the tipping part. Yeah. With the, with the with second uh, coat of, of top coat uh, you, you don't have a, a color difference in the coats and with the angle of the sun and it it gets yeah. they're, they're, tricky it gets tricky to to see where you where you have already painted and where you have already tipped the paint yeah and then in between um, you always have to yeah, if move you, the scaffolding and it's, exactly, yes. it, it it makes things difficult mm -hmm. So um, we then decided for the last, for the final top coat to get some help. So we asked our friend Alex from Navica Sailing to be our spotter. So she came by when we, when we applied the last paint and she checked, just yeah, triple checked in that case, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that we don't miss anything. And then, yeah, it turned out really great. We were then really happy. We still are really happy. Yes. <laughs> and to style her up even yeah. more. <laughs> the finishing touch for the cove line. Um, we bought this golden... Um, yeah, sticker. It's, yeah. A, it's an adhesive tape. Yeah, I, it's... Uh, Marine tape. Yeah. It is especially for the, the, the cold material. Line. Um, what? Uh, it's, it's vinyl. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's vinyl tape, a golden vinyl tape, and it's especially for for that uh, usage. So it's cove line tape. Yeah. So we bought this gold adhesive tape, and then we put it in the cove line. It was also not too difficult to apply it, right? I. I thought it, were, it it worked out really well. You just have to cut it because our cove line has like a pointy end and also is a little bit, um, yeah, it's shaped a little bit at the ends. So we, we had to cut it. Yeah, that's basically what we did the last yeah. three weeks in the boat. Yeah, <laughs> three out of we, six. <laughs> because of the painting job, we, we got delayed in the boat yard because the weather turned and it got really windy and then it I think it rained. Yes. Um, and you have to, to in order to paint your boat, you have to wait for the right weather conditions. Yeah, of course, because you don't want the, all the dirt in the fresh paint. Yes, and it also shouldn't be too hot. And it took us in the beginning uh, one one coat of paint took us uh, around four hours, both sides. And yeah, yeah the, the the whole the whole boat, the whole yeah. boat. And the last coat, which was the fifth coat, uh, <laughs> it, totally it took us a bit over two hours. So yes, you get you get the hang of it. You get the experience, and you become faster. Yes, and I really liked it. I think it was one of the coolest projects we have ever done to the yeah, boat with the <laughs> biggest visual impact absolutely. yes yes so we are really happy we would love your feedback and mm -hmm. uh, would we we yeah so leave in the comments what you think of our choice and how you you like makani 2.0 like we call her now <laughs> for those of you who want to know um, we asked for a quote to spray paint or to, to get the boat spray painted by the boat yard, uh, they quoted us 5,000 euros. Yes. That was too much for us. Yes. And the, the option with painting it ourselves um, cost us a bit over 600 euros for the paint. Yeah. So that's what you have to calculate with. Yes. I think. Yeah. If you want to do this. So, um, yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, if you have done something like that yourself and if we did it wrong <laughs> if, if you saw something we should have done differently yeah or, or if you have any questions we can yeah answer them for you maybe we have some tips for you who knows um yes let us know and 
yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching and a big thank you to our patrons um we who actually kept this project quiet for quite a while now um yeah special thanks to mark our patreon uh, thanks for all the advice and for cheering us on during this project and yes see you again in the next video yeah thank you thank you bye, bye. Thank you.